Sri Lanka need 5-0-9 to win and that's a big, big score. India in the second innings after getting a lead of 192 in the first, 316 for 9, Yuvraj 75, Agarkar 48. Need 5-0-9 to win but in the meanwhile we'll get you down to Arun Lal who's with Greg Chappell. I have with me a very special guest, the coach of the Indian side, Mr. Greg Chappell. At the outset, congratulations, Greg, to you and your team for the last couple of months. Thanks, sir, and it's been a very enjoyable journey. Mm. And uh, how do you see the team evolving? How has it evolved? You've done well, uh, consistent performances? Yes, it has been consistent, uh, and that's one of the things that obviously we've been trying to, to get to. And just an adherence to the basic things that need to be done to be consistent. And I think that's the thing that I've been most pleased with, how quickly the guys have, have caught on with that. They've uh, taken on the challenges of you know, various uh, batting positions for different, uh, different players from time to time under different conditions. And in the test matches particularly, I think the, the thing that's been most pleasing is the, the perseverance and the patience that we've shown. The, the wickets have not necessarily been easy for batting or bowling, but uh, in the end the bowlers win out if they can be patient enough. And I think that's one thing that we've done well. The patience in batting, um, obviously in Delhi, um, Sachin's innings was a very important one. Laxman's innings here was a very important one, but there have been some, some very good cameos from others such as Afan and uh, from Dhoni and, and others that have uh, been very important. Uh, UV in both test matches in difficult situations where the game could have gone either way. So I think that's been the most pleasing thing, that we've really stuck to the basic things that we're working on to try and make us more consistent. Yes, uh, you mentioned Dhoni and Pathan. They've come a long way. So suddenly adding a new balance to the Indian side. Yes, it is. It's important. Um, All-rounders are a very important part of cricket at any stage, but in the modern game with one-day cricket, but the way test cricket is played at the moment, uh, all-rounders are very important. And I mean, I consider Dhoni to be an all-rounder. He keeps wickets, but he's also important to us with the bat. Uh, Ifan, obviously a key bowler for us, but if he can make the sort of runs that he's been making for us, it makes a big difference to that lower middle order. You know, we've been in trouble a couple of times early in, in each innings with conditions perhaps a bit difficult for the top order, and it's been the middle order and the lower middle order that's, uh, that's got us into a position where we've still been in a strong position. I think that's been one of the hallmarks of the Australian team in recent times. Whenever they've failed early, the middle order and the lower middle order have, have given them scores that make them very competitive. And I think that's something that, that we're working on as well. Also, you know, you've taken some unusual decisions which have come off and uh, hats off to you for that. You've got to be lucky sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, we... We've we tried to keep the odds in our favour. I mean, when we've taken a risk, when we've decided to try a strategy that we feel can work under the conditions, most of the times it, it's come off. And I mean, Afan has been the one that's done that more regularly than most, but uh, Dhoni's done it as well. Um, you know, the guys have taken the challenges. Saywag batting at four in the one day is, uh, was something that was different from him in recent times. Uh, you know, I think it's important that uh, players understand how difficult the other guy's role is. So to bat down the order for the upper order and to bat up the order for the lower order players is good experience for them. Well, I can see that all of you are enjoying yourselves. I hope you carry on doing that. Cheers. Thanks, sir. Sally has done a great job. Great chapel. Current Indian team looking altogether different. And they're looking good to win this one. Patan will start with the new ball hey. from the far end. Got two slips into gully and a man at square point catching. Opul Taranga on strike. Gets off the mark, a bit of relief to get to the other end. Left-right combination with the skipper, Malvin Atapattu. It's been a good series uh, for Atapattu. He had uh, a bit of a tough time at the start of the one dayers, then batted in the middle order, got runs. But uh, after that seven in Chennai, when uh, he batted uh, down the order, came up to open again in Delhi, 88-67. Followed it up with uh, 40 in the first innings of uh, this game. So I'm sure he'll look to finish off uh, on a good note. Looking for a bye. Bit of hesitation between the two batsmen, but go for it in the end. Two deliveries down the leg side. The first one uh, to the left-hander, and then he had to change the angle to the right-hander. Uh, Upul, Tarang Upul Taranga playing in his uh, first test match. 
30 first class matches played a lot of uh, under 19 cricket and did well that's what uh, prompted the selectors to give him the break again hesitation feeling the pressure out in the middle the Sri Lankans already come be the fielder the Ranga was uh, running from the outset Mahavanatha Patu wasn't too sure and uh, had it hit the stumps. Mahavanatha Patu would have been on the way back. He had the time to aim and throw at the stumps because uh, Atapatu was quite a distance to go. But he's had an escape. It's timing good and the placement good as well. Kev will chase it and win the race. Picks up three, Marvin Atapattu. Got into position very nicely and uh, pushed the ball into the gap. But uh, is he in some discomfort? Nice shot opening the face of the bat. Concern for me is the back of Marvin Atapattu. Thought he was in some kind of pain. Take part of the outside edge, but will race away to the fence. First boundary for Sri Lanka and first boundary for Taranga. That was uh, up enough for him to play the drive. He angled the bat as he made contact. That's why it went uh, backward at the point fielder. His idea was to try and hit it through extra cover, but that angle bat took it uh, behind the stumps. But it was safe all along the ground. Ten for no loss, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka need 5-0-9 to win. Good start, you'd say that after one over. Ten for no loss. They pull Taranga and Marvin Nathapattu together in the middle. And together in the com box, it's Arun Lal and Ranjit Fernando. Thanks, Shiva. And a very good morning to all our viewers. It is uh, actually a wonderful morning here every day. Very bright, cool conditions. Ideal for cricket. This is just designed for a cricket match, the weather. And there's a little bit of pressure on Sri Lanka. To begin proceedings, they have Harbhajan Singh with the new ball. They're going to have the batsmen crowded up early. They don't like this. Normally, openers want to get settled with the new ball. Now, there'll be a little bit of a dilemma in their minds. Will the ball turn? Will it not? Will it skid through? Very good morning to you, Ranjit. Very good morning to you, uh, Arun. I think it's a bit of an understatement. Uh, to say that a little bit of pressure for Sri Lanka I think the pressure on Sri Lanka is really enormous and uh, India really looking at um, even options when it comes to their bowling the looks at the odds and um, they've now brought in Harbhajan Singh as um, there's certainly going to be a lot for him on this track and maybe some of the early moisture has to be exploited as well apart from the scars that are on the pitch itself so the new ball with uh, two men on the onside just Around the bat and a slip. Goodness me, that was bat pad and they didn't have a silly mid off. They have a backward short leg, forward short leg. Take a look at this. On the seam, this is his speciality. Definite bat pad and they were, it was just, it's just lobbed there at silly mid off. And they still don't have one. Goodness me, a lot of pressure there. This new ball is turning as well. 
In fact, I think this new ball is going to be even more dangerous than the older ball. Yes, as we did mention, the odds certainly are going to favor the bowlers. And plenty of turn, you could see enormous turn with the new ball. And the uh, amount of grip that this new ball is getting could be ominous for the Sri Lankans. A big appeal, but um, more in optimism rather than in the belief that it would hit the stumps. Well, I can't quite understand the deep mid wicket. Why would you have a deep mid wicket? A deep mid wicket? When you... Such an unassailable position. And you have a mid-on fielder that's giving one. Very odd indeed. You want to attack? You didn't need that deep mid wicket there. You could have had a silly mid-off. And if you did have a silly mid-off, you would have put more pressure on the right-handed Marvana to put in. Maybe you would have got him. First delivery. Absolutely. I don't think there are any reasons uh, that one could think of for halfway measures here for India. They could attack right from the word go and uh, do it to the maximum. There's no real need to save runs at this stage. The pitch is turning and the Sri Lankans have an enormous task, a huge total to try and get to. Tremendous, tremendous. It's turning. And you know why I say this new ball is more dangerous? Because it's going to hasten off the wicket as well. This wicket is going to slow down. The color of it has also changed. It's become a lot, um, let's say, lighter. You expect it to slow down. So the new ball, if it can turn, well, it's extremely dangerous. Well, in end of a difficult over for Sri Lanka. 11 for no loss. Well, Sri Lanka now need 498 to win. At the start, they needed 508, 509. At the moment, it's 498. Now, a lead of 508, day four and five. I would even have a short leg. Ranjit, I, I'm getting the impression that the, that the Indian field set is a little defensive at the moment. We saw them have a deep mid wicket for Harbhajan Singh. There was a deep mid wicket. There was a there was a fielder very deep at long on that sort of afforded them the opportunity of a single. Maybe Marvin even got away. Uh, he may have been out. You want to leave these gaps. Uh, in fact, you want them to play against the you know across the line of the deliveries. That's beautifully played by Upul Taranga. Just a shortish delivery. And again, showing that this man really has a lot of talent. He really needs to convert that to big runs. And uh, Sri Lanka certainly need a lot of runs, in fact, from someone like him. He's playing in his first test match. Just good balance. And push the through the offside. Wonderful shot indeed. Tremendous timing. That will give him a lot of confidence. He's really thumped that through the covers. But they are attacking Taranga, that's for sure. The interspersed... They've got a few gaps there in the slips. Marvin Atapadu is very lucky to have gotten away with one of those run-out chances. Had it been direct hit by Gautam Gambhir, Marvin was back home. So they need to sort of tighten up. At the moment, I'm getting the impression that they're a little, not a little, pretty tense, they're under a little pressure. This is what I was talking about. Yes, a lot of indecision between Natapatu and Taranga. One could understand that both these players have really never batted uh, together as openers. This is probably the first time they're doing this, or maybe the second time. First innings was the first.
That's the field. Just one slip for Irfan. There's no short leg either. That's the man at square leg. So there's a slip in a gully. Very unorthodox a close in catcher at short point. That is Sehwag himself. That's the onside field. You have a square leg. Sehwag standing at that unorthodox position. Well kept. Really had to cover some distance, Dhoni. There was a bounce more than usual on this track on that occasion, and Dhoni really had to fling himself at that to pick that up. On. As you can see, the bounce. Well, he gets a lot of movement when he's bowling to the left handers because that's the line he bowls at from the leg stump of the right hander or the off stump of the left hander. It's a lot more difficult to get the ball into right handers from outside their off stumps. It's 17 without loss. Kurkuria house number 43. Sir Sony Entertainment Television Asia for a Well, a lot of budding cricketers there. 17 without loss in three overs. A slip, a gully. A silly mid-off and a short leg. Just look at the turn there. How are you going to handle him? When you come in, it is very, very difficult. So straight into the deep end. Yangupul Taranga. Just two slips, forward short leg, a silly point. He's never sort of experienced this sort of thing. At the moment he's bowling from over the wicket. He's trying to hit that patch around uh, made by those footmarks that we've been focusing on. And so has Srinath in his pitch reports. So he's trying to hit that area and get a little bit of extra bounce. Yes, I think you mentioned earlier on, Arun, about uh, the new ball favouring him uh, to open the bowling with, particularly spinning, because I think the harder seam, Harbhajan Singh is someone who depends so much on the seam for his uh, bounce as well to grip, and he keeps on hitting that hard seam, the new ball seam, which really is more pronounced than an usual seam. No way, that can't be out. The angle would take it away. Well, Harbhajan has opened once before against Australia and Mumbai last year in 2004 and he got in the second he's 5 for 29 of 10.5 so he's India won by 13 runs so he can be pretty devastating with the new ball and we did see him practicing uh, with the new ball in the morning in the warm-ups you saw him bowling with a new ball his test career first and second innings second innings he's well his average is a lot better for obvious reasons it's now 17 without loss Sri Lanka really up against it. 492 runs to win at the moment. 17 without loss. A slip in a gully and a short point. It's a short point, no doubt, to try and encourage Bhavanathapattu to launch into a bit of a drive as the slow wicket might also see that he might hit it in the air for a while. These drives on slow tracks really cannot be kept all along the ground unless you get your foot as close as possible alongside the ball. Yeah, is he brushing his hair or is he batting? 
Well, he's uh, he's hale and hearty now. We believe he's out of the hospital, <coughs> and maybe he comes here. But there's a lot of fans waiting for him. Where's the bat? Sachin Tendulkar, world record holder, 3500s in Test cricket now. Well bowled. Chasing this mammoth total, the Sri Lankans can't think too far ahead. They merely have to probably play with uh, short goals, just looking to survive initially. Of course, we saw that the South Africans survived against uh, Australia, batting throughout a whole day, but the Sri Lankans' task is twice as great as they've got to bat two days. Yes, I suppose they've got to take it um, in short uh, objectives at a time. Maybe play from drinks session to session, not think about any any targets. Get to lunch without losing a wicket. They'd be very very happy with that. They can also take some inspiration from South Africa. They pulled off a terrific draw there against Australia at Perth. Well, two days would be very very difficult, and if they were to achieve batting two days, they would be very close to that target as well. So they've really got to go time-wise rather than run-wise. This sort of thing really has been never done before, but always the first time, and that's really the charm of cricket. Sevag, he's done a great job for India, standing in for Rahul Dravid. Certainly shows very good signs of leadership. In the air, but he's managed to find the gap and he's going to get four for his efforts. Streaky, but four all the same, 21 without loss. Well, for those uh, statistically inclined, those are the highest fourth innings totals to win a test. 418 is the highest ever achieved in the history of the game. What do you do to that? There is an appeal. They all go up in unison, but Billy Bowden unmoved. Nothing one could do to a delivery like that. It's landed outside leg stump and spun right across his body. So he just has to wait watching. And as soon as a ball does that, the previous delivery, the next one, you are so tentative. As we saw on that occasion, Taranga. Well, it can't be easy to begin things. These empires can get away with anything. Now it's ready to grip. He's got such a firm grip on that seam. Can't quite get that away, Taranga. But when you come in, it must be awfully difficult uh, to face up to this kind of pressure. Fielders all around, ball turning, jumping. But I suppose that really what Sri Lanka needs to do is build partnerships, spend time at the crease, and then it becomes relatively easier progressively. We saw Yuvraj Singh uh, sweeping Muralidharan very effectively and uh, some might argue that um, the sweep might be a good shot but uh, one must realize that Yuvraj Singh, oh, bigger pardon, Harbhajan Singh just uh, hitting the seam all the time. There's far more bounce for him and the sweep uh, is not really a shot that uh, would favor the odds. Well, I'm one of those who believes that uh, on these slow turning tracks the sweep is pretty productive. 
But well, you're right. When the ball is bouncing a lot more, then you uh, you know you run the risk of top edging. What's it about the camera? That was the reverse one. Didn't quite turn as expected. 21 without loss. Shades of the Indian National Congress 1885. He's gone for it and he's pulled it off handsomely. That is a welcome boundary for Atapato. Beautifully executed. Atapato really needs to make the most of the uh, short pit deliveries, the quicker bowlers. That's uh, probably the easiest time he's going to have. Short and shriveled away, played very, very neatly. Very crisp, very neat. He would have enjoyed that. That was a quicker one, 131. But her not really being able to bend any into Atapatu at the moment. been a little expensive in fact Harbhajan has given just one run in three overs almost all the runs coming from Pathan's end there's a third slip and a gully and a short point well this is a big game for uh, Tendulkar before the match and of course uh, the 100th test match for Anil Kumble this was what uh, happened before the game. There was a felicitation by the board president, awarding him, honoring him, applauding him for his world record. Mr. Sharad Pawar, the board president, and of course Anil Kumble as well for his 100th test match and all sorts of records behind that man as well. Tremendous performer he has been for India. In fact, uh, the best bowler for India in the history of the game also awarded for his efforts and we all join hands in applauding these two no doubt momentous occasions for both these great players served Indian cricket with absolute uh, greatness and then the the last award the most significant of all the entire team, on behalf of the team, Anil was awarded this plaque by Tendulkar for achieving that 100 tests and of course all those hundreds of wickets. So this was very significant, the entire team getting together to acknowledge Anil Kumble. Very underplayed this man, huge performances, big hero but very underplayed indeed. Four runs from that uh, Pathan over. It's 25 without loss. Target 509, they now need 484. Young Taranga, he's had a torrid time so far, just a couple of overs, but he's uh, got a lot to think about. 
Just missed. This was the appeal, but it did strike the thigh on its way to the keeper. And that was why they all went up. It didn't have anything to do with the bat, though. What happened there? Just take a look. Goodness me. Not only the wicket keeper, not only the batsman, but the wicket keeper too would have um, a difficult time coping with some of these uh, deliveries. As you can see, look at the bounce. That's the reason he's got that visor on. He needs a chest pad, Dhoni. At the moment, it's really hastening off the wicket as well. Now, later on, when the ball gets about 40 overs old, we've got to watch. Will it slow down enough for the batsman to be able to manage it? It's the bounce that's causing the worry, really, at the moment. Survival is all what he could do, and he'll have to work out how he's going to do that. You need a lot of luck, uh, Ranjit, on a surface like this. If you've got to be there, you need a lot of skill, great temperament, technique, and a lot of luck. One really must have a heart for Upul Taranga. Didn't have a good first innings. And to bat on a surface like this. Looks to work it around the onside. Sri Lanka 25 without loss. Watch Gladrag's Mega Model and Manhunt contest. Watch the Gladrag's Mega Model and Manhunt 2005. Gladrag's Mega Model and Manhunt competition 2005. Glad Rags, Mega Model and Manhunt 2005. Serves Sony Entertainment Television Asia Bar. I was talking about the element of luck on a surface like this. We need it all the time. That has been put down. It was firmly struck. But for once they had the positioning right. This is also an element of luck. There's a third slip in a gully. In and out for Kumle. It was hit very powerfully by Marvin Atapata, as you would see. Just uh, got on the back foot, rocked on it and flew to Kumle. To his left. And that's probably why he really couldn't cling on to it. Certainly will go down as a chance. Very tough one indeed. It was really quick. It's too quick even for our cameras to capture. Really, just take a look. It's just no reaction time. Anil on his left. That would have been an exceptional take had he managed to hold on to it. But Atapatu. Well... He had a near run out and now he's been dropped on 13. So maybe it's his day today. Played a very rash shot in the first innings. He's got to get that mind to settle. He's a he's a key member of this Sri Lankan scheme of things. If they are to survive or even into the fifth day, he's the man who's got the temperament to play huge innings. Great patience, great powers of the mind. Six double hundreds, big ones and it's important that he stay at one end and let the entire team play around him. But should he lose it, uh, it, it could be a huge blow for Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka's problem in this series has been that um, their top order batsmen haven't really gone on to make very big scores and have not occupied the crease uh, recently or sufficiently enough to try and um, prolong their innings. So Marvin Atapatu, he'll have to really show the way for Upul Taranga. As uh, you quite rightly mentioned, he's got the exposure before, he's done it before. So maybe the luck that spill will probably turn his luck around. Well bowled and well played. He thought about it, it was the slower one. Just 97.7, He's that was slower than a Anil Kumle delivery. This is what Ranjit was talking about. Marvan Atapatu, the highest scorer though, 215, 198 by Jayavardhana. 
and not a single hundred that's what he was referring to these stalwarts getting starts Marvin Atapatu getting three starts before this and then not carrying on and making a big one it's 25 without loss Twenty-five without loss after nine. They continue to harass Tharanga with lots of fielders around the bat. Harbhajan to continue and in the commentary box, Jawagal Srinath and Shiva Ramakrishnan. Thanks, Arun. No joy yet for the Indians after nine overs. That is bowled well, Harbhajan Singh. Looking for the single bit of misfield to turn the fielder. And goes all the way. Four to Taranga. Good morning, Sri. Good morning, Shiva. Good morning, viewers. Runs coming thick and fast uh, for the Sri Lankans. Dropped catch in misfield just now. This wicket will definitely offer spin as the game progresses. But uh, the bounce might uh, reduce a bit. You might not get that much bounce, but uh, I'm sure about the spin. Change of angle now for Harbhajan Singh. Even more difficult for the left-hander now. The ball curving into him and then turning away. Slip, gully, silly point, short leg. Sebag doing the right thing by attacking the batsman. Plenty in the pitch for the bowlers. Between the man at slip, Vivius Lakshman and Sebag at gully will race away to the fence. Second boundary in this over. Harpajan is giving enough room uh, in terms of uh, the length actually. He's allowing Upala Taranga to go on the back foot. And, uh, enough room for him to uh, use his uh, bat a little faster this time. Much better this time, Harbhajan saying, drawing the batsman onto the front foot. And on such wickets, you've got to draw the batsman on the forward defense. Nice position of the seam. He's done that pretty well. Again, going off the back foot. He's looked good in that area, Taranga. Pick up two. 35 for no loss. Santoshi and Madhus present the New Year's Eve extravaganza. Two superb shows. At London Hilton Park Lane, dinner and dance with Shama and friends. With DJ Jadu. Four course meals served by Madhus with complimentary wine and orange juice. Also Mumbai nights at Sheraton Skyline Heathrow. Hosted by Music Asia. Delicious finger buffet served by Madhus. For ticket information, call Santoshi on 077471018 or 020 or 0208432461. It's been a good start for Sri Lanka, 35 for no loss. Taranga on 21, Atapa 2 on 13. Sangakara, Jayawardhane, Tilan, Samaravira, Dushan and Mubarak. Lots of batsmen to follow. Patan seems to have a problem. Sri, getting very close to the danger area.
He's been warned not to run on the wicket and this is a perennial problem what he has. As a left armer, somebody, this is the last ball of the last over, a left armer trying to bring the ball into the right-hander will always have the problem. And he's been officially warned, close this time. Two noises. Discordant. It can't be uh, very clear for the umpire when there are two noises. Is it the bat or the pad? Pad or the bat? And this time clearly it's the bat. And on to the uh, pad. So the bowlers who bring the ball into the right handers, especially the left handers. They will have problems with the danger areas. They got to keep it away. And that can only come by practice. No slips for Patan. There's a man wide, previous Lakshman. It's about uh, a fourth slip. And then there is a gully, there's a square point looking to get him square of the wicket on the offside. The Indians looking tentative, Marvan Atapatu. He was dropped in the previous over of uh, Irfan Patan. Have a look at this uh, picture. This gives you a good idea where Irfan is uh, landing. And. Uh, his right foot now, that's exactly where he's creating problems for the umpires. That's it. Now once you create, uh, especially on the fourth day, the surface is a little loose and uh, the spikes, what Irfan is wearing, can really get through and uh, damage the wicket. This is what the umpires would be very keen uh, to look into. And that's not fair play if he's deliberately doing. But uh, knowing Patan, he's a gentleman, he wouldn't do that. But in the interest of the game, they got to... Uh, they got to look at the wicket. A quick single for Atapatu. And end of the over, 36 for none, Sri Lanka. Big target for Sri Lanka, 5-0-9. They're doing pretty well at the moment. It's been a good partnership between these two. 36 for no loss. Taranga on 21. Oh! Big appeal, can't be given. Very, very difficult to give those. Have a look, Shiva. Now, there is enough turn, but uh, he can only be creating a lot of problems if there is bounce. Big turn. It's the bounce that carries, enables the ball to carry to the slip, the bat pads, the lack of bounce. You see the ball falling well short of the fielders. But if it hits the edges of the spots that is created there, you might expect a good bounce. And also those footmarks you were talking about from Patan, I think he's got a bigger area to now to aim at Harbhajan Singh. You're right. It's one of the reasons why Mahavanatha Patu is choosing to use his feet to get to the pitch and negate that spot. We'll pick up a single. Good batting. You've got to keep rotating the strike. That's important. And uh, 
we saw it yesterday the best way to bat was uh, the way Yuras did he used his uh, long handle very well yesterday and have a look in fact uh, Atapatu might have run on the wicket this time it's not doing good uh, any good to his team <laughs> Strange uh, rules, isn't it? The batsmen can do whatever they want to do. Usually, they don't get. I mean, they they can get away with the murder, running on the wicket. And uh, if the if the ball is pitched in those areas, you got to reach to the ball. In this one minute three, if he runs, they'll be very happy. The Indians won't complain on that. 37 for none, Sri Lanka. Bowling chain, right arm over. Right arm over. Two legs. Four hundred and seventy-two more right, to win. All right. It's going to be even more difficult now. If there was a lot of turn and bounce. You'd have expected Anil Kumble replacing the turn. So the Indians choosing to use one fast bowler and one spinner. You got to take the lacquer off the ball as quickly as possible. That's what uh, Adjagarkar is going to do now. And uh, in the bargain, if he gets uh, one or two, it's always uh, helping the cause of the Indian cricket team at this point in time. And no matter what the situation of the game is, you know that the spinners are going to be very effective on this wicket. But the initial couple of wickets from the fast bowlers will always set a wonderful tone for the team. He's just looking for opening the Indians seen right through the series the batsman is new at the crease things are becoming extremely difficult but maintaining the ball pretty well the Indians and there will be some reverse swing and Agarkar has this problem of going wicketless on one too many occasions he has to break this doesn't have a great record uh, on the Indian soil not much of breeze today one fact of the fast bowlers will look at to swing the ball I'm suffocating here I'm shivering it's too cold And Anil Kumble doing well. He's a tall man, but very good in gully. <laughs> you know, when you have the stadium covered on, uh, it used to be a pretty open stadium. Now, with all those uh, roof coming up, it's good for the stadium. The infrastructure has really uh, upgraded here every time you come. Uh, but that can also play against uh, the wind blow. It, 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 it doesn't have any room, Romani. Neatly played by Atapadu. You don't have uh, any chance of air, breeze rather, crossing the ground. And uh, wind behind you is always uh, an added advantage, especially as a fast bowler when you're running in, coming in for the second spell. A bit of help, a bit of push. Yeah, wind behind you. And then sideways is also important as far as spinners are concerned. But uh, in one direction, back to front, the fast bowlers get to bowl with the wind and the spinners against. When the wickets are slow, 
not responsive what we call the graveyards for the fast bowlers you need something wind some positive factors good delivery to win the overs 37 for nolos now or never kenya south africa usa and uk it's a grand finale who will have the last laugh watch the mother of all dance competitions after all it's boogie woogie boom only on sony entertainment television asia Sri Lanka 37 for no loss. The Indian fans very happy, looking for a wicket. Plenty of support from the local fans. It's a very big stadium here, holds about 50,000 people. Just a few thousand in. Anil Kumble into the attack, replacing Harbhajan Singh. He can be deadly dangerous. Under the prevailing conditions here, a terrific record in Test matches: 480 wickets, going at 4.8 wickets per Test match. Eight times 10 wickets in a match. We look to settle in. Billy's having a look. As usual, tremendous responsibility once again. Uh, Tremendous responsibility on these shoulders. Won plenty of matches. No nonsense attitude. Never die. No matter what stage of the game uh, he is in, in whether there is life in the match or no, his intensity remains constant. Looking very relaxed in his run-up, Anil Kumble. Bowling much slower through the air, which is a good sign. He's got an inclination to do that these days. Bowl slower through the air, look for the turn. And he's looking at those footmarks as well. Especially for the left-hander, it can be a little worrying. In two minds, not knowing which one is going to turn back, which one to play at. As we always speak, he just needs that first wicket. Starts with the maiden, 37 for Nolos. Sri Lanka need 472. More runs to win. India looking for the breakthrough. Only on four occasions uh, the team batting in the last innings is uh, was able to chase uh, such mammoth total. And uh, the longer the Sri Lankan stays, they learn a lot. Hey, he's got off to starts in the series, Marvin Atapattu. Didn't have a good game in Chennai, but Delhi got off to a start. And he even here in the first innings got to 40. Hasn't converted them into big ones. 
going back to that piece of information over 400 test matches has been played so far uh, well protected on the offside for Ajit Agarkar Out of 1,777 test matches, only four times the last target, a target of 400 and above in the last innings has been chased uh, by the team chasing in the last innings. And uh, is there a remote possibility this could be the fifth one, Shiva? Never 500, Sri. Could be dangerous at times. There is protection on the outside. It was late on the ball, Mavanatapatu. Ball already passed the bat. The Indian bowlers got to be patient on this wicket. They got to keep pegging. This is a good shot, but finds Yuvraj. Bit of a fumble, but no runs. <laughs> good fielding. This is what uh, impresses me about uh, Yuvraj. You know, he has that uh, willingness to field in these areas. He loves, he thrives, uh, you know, fielding well. The alacrity, the, the agility. Made in for Agarka, 37 for Nolos. Seven for no loss in the last four overs. Sri Lanka just scored one run. And here's the second. First one off Kumle. There's lots of encouragement from the bowlers. Maybe it's Lakshman Dhoni. Pretended to play a shot at the last moment. In fact, after the ball had hit the pads, was it pitching in line? Was it missing leg? A lot of those will come during the day. A lot of appeals and pitched in line, but uh, might have appeared down the leg side. Billy will be looking for the better ones. There was an element of doubt. When you have an element of doubt, it's better not to give it as an umpire. It's turning the leg breaks for Anil Kumble. So many appeals, in a way, also send a strong signal to the umpires that uh, you are very much in the game, you are in the right areas, and you are also making the batsman to struggle. That's a good sign. I think you got to make those uh, appeals keep the umpires in the game all the time so the cover coming out so no attacking fieldsman it's a big gap between the man at point and mid off back with short leg in oh, 
He's left a big gap and Taranga is good through that area, especially through the covers. And the ball will be turning into the left-hander. It's a good move. Tempt the batsman to play against the turn. Oh. 39 for Lola. 